It's February and likely you or someone you know is coughing and sneezing. Hopefully that's the extent of your symptoms, but we are in the middle of the flu season. <laughs> Just like there are certain things that we do to prevent catching the flu, there's also certain things that you can do to prevent plant diseases from, from spreading in your garden. The first thing is to be knowledgeable about the diseases and also the symptoms so that you can correctly identify these as soon as possible. A great resource is to go to your local county extension office. You can simply take a part of the specimen or some photographs in for identification. If they are not able to help you with a confident identification of what might be wrong with your plant, they'll send these samples or the photographs off to the Plant Disease and Insect Diagnostic Laboratory here at OSU. Consider this like going to your general practitioner and them not being able to confidently identify what might be wrong with you and they send you to a specialist. However, we hope that it doesn't get to this point. And just like there's precautions that you can take for your own health safety, there's also precautions that you can take in the garden. <laughs> the first step is avoidance. Just like in the flu season, we avoid crowded, confined spaces so that we don't catch other people's germs. In the garden, we want to make sure that we space plants out and that we also don't put plants in a location where we know there's been disease problems prior. Another thing is that often diseases with plants happen at particular times or due to environmental conditions. You can prevent this by planting the plant earlier or later. Another thing to keep in mind is you want to make sure that you're going into your garden season with a clean bill of health. So any plants that you introduce into your garden, you want to make sure they're disease free. Just like when we have new babies, we often isolate them in order to make sure they're getting off to a strong start. Or maybe you have a friend that's had flu-like symptoms and we've often told those people to stay at home. We often do this with plants as well by quarantining them. We'll often take plants and set them aside in order to monitor any symptoms or to ensure that they don't develop any symptoms before we introduce them to the larger plant population. While it might seem that some people are just more prone to get sick, the same is true with plants. There are certain plants that more, are more susceptible to catching diseases. Now, some plants might also reflect that they have more resistance. Resistance is not the same thing as immunity. Therefore, you want to make sure to maintain the plant's overall health because if the health of the plant declines, so does the resistance, especially under stressful conditions. Just like the doctor says, stress affects your health as well. In the plant world, it's very hard to actually cure plant diseases. So really, we're looking at preventing the spread of those diseases onto healthy plants. We often look at the environmental conditions that might make certain plants more susceptible to certain diseases during that time. At that time, that's often when we start applying fungicides and bactericides in order to protect healthy plants. We also might use physical barriers, such as cloth, to drape over plants in order to prevent insects that often carry these diseases from getting to our plants. This is like, as people, we often use hand sanitizers and facial masks to prevent the spread of germs. While all of this might seem overwhelming as we're in the midst of flu season, as we enter our gardening season, we want to make sure to keep all of this information in mind. It's important to be knowledgeable about the plant diseases and their symptoms. Therefore, you can have early detection and quick response to reduce the impact on your plants and your garden. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion. Mm -hmm.